hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus x plus x divided by square root of x is equal to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and in the first method here you see that this is the uh, same variable term is added by three times so when we add the same variable term with three times uh, it means that we need to add uh, the coefficients of all of these three terms so the coefficients of these three terms is one so when we add one three times it will become here three times of x and further we move the square root of x to the right hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by x and it will be written as x times of square root of x and further in the next step uh, here uh, we need uh, to remove the square root sign from right hand side so in order to remove the square root of x we need to take a scaring on both of the sides so when we will take scaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form 3x whole square into x times of square root of x and its whole square and in the next step we need to apply the square separately on both of these values and it will be written as 3 square multiplied by x square is equals to here we apply this square separately on both of these values and it will becomes x square into square root of x and its whole square and now you see here we have this is 3 square becomes 9 times of x square and this is our x square so this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here x only and in the next step you see here uh, x square multiplied by x becomes here x cubed and we get here 9 times of x square is equals to x cubed so 9 times x square equals to x cubed so we move this 9 times x square to the right hand side and it will be written as x cubed this is positive 9x square becomes negative 9x square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, in the next step you see here both of these two terms involve x square so that we will take common x square from here and when we take common x square from here we get the remaining value is x minus when we take common x square from here we get only 9 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and further in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x square is equal to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 9 is equal to 0 so from here we easily get the value of x is equal to 0 this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we need to move this minus 9 to the right hand side and it will become here plus 9 this is the second root of the given equation so you see here from first method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation and now in the next step we need to verify that is these roots are solution or is these roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and it is x plus x plus x divided by square root of x is equals to x this is the our given question statement and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 9. And now here for the verification of x is equals to 0 we substitute x is equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation and it will be written as 0 plus 0 plus 0 divided by square root of 0 is equals to 0. Uh, and we have uh, z when we add 0 3 times it will become 0 over 0 is equals to 0 so here we know that 0 over 0 is usually called that it is the indeterminate form okay so if 0 over 0 be the indeterminate form or in other words we just call that it is undefined form okay uh, so if this is undefined form this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that uh, the value of x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation 
okay uh, this is the extraneous rule because it does not satisfy our given question statement and now here uh, uh, we move toward the second value or second root of this equation and now we check x is equals to 9 here so when we put x is equals to 9 on both of the sides it will be written as 9 plus 9 plus 9 divided by square root of 9 is equals to 9 uh, and here we have 9 when we add 9 3 times it will become 27 and we know that square root of 9 becomes 3 is equals to 9 and we have this is 3 times of 9 becomes 27 and we will get here 9 is equals to 9. So this means that both of the sides are equal when we take x is equals to 9. Uh, so it's, um, we finally conclude that x is equals to 9 be the solution set of the given equation. So this is the only one solution set of the given equation and x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root. Uh, this is the final uh, solution uh, which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x plus x plus x divided by square root of x is equals to x this is the our given question statement and in the second method uh, we our first step is same on both of these methods uh, our first step is that we add x with three times and it will be written as three times of x divided by this is square root of x is equals to x so here uh, we just use here the nice uh, rule of uh, radicals as you know about that when we can uh, take the radical of two same numbers it will becomes that number okay it means that if you have a we write this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a so according to this rule uh, we just uh, write this x as into the product of square roots form so it will becomes here three times of square root of x and square root of x divided by square root of x is equals to x and you see here this square root of x is cancelled out by this square root of x and we will get here three times of square root of x is equals to x so further we need to remove the square root sign from left hand side and in order to remove the square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as uh, here you see that the square of 3 becomes 9 and the square of square root of x becomes x is equals to this is x square and in the next step we move this 9x to the right hand side and it will becomes x square minus 9x is equals to 0 and uh, from here we take common x and when we take common x we get the remaining values are x minus 9 is equals to 0 and we divide this into the two cases the first case is we write x is equal to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 9 is equal to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get x is equal to 9 this is the second root of the given equation so in the sec second method we again get these two roots and but here in the first method we verify that this root be the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and in this root be the solution of the given equation because it is satisfied our given question statement so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos